Ashley, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm one of uh, the many, I'm one of the resident geeks on the internet. Um, well, yeah, my channel isn't as popular as yours, but uh, nonetheless, um, we want to discuss that whole issue of religion. There, I was watching your video on religion. Um, I don't really uh, describe my religion per se, but what I do, I am a I am a scientist, I'm a physicist, uh, like uh, Sheldon Cooper on uh, Big Bang Theory, on Big Bang Theory, uh, and my experience in physics uh, has led me into a study of theology, uh, because there are things in physics and quantum physics that are really not understood, and I, it's come to uh, my observation that there are things, there is reality beyond our own understanding. And because there is reality beyond our own understanding, that's where what leads you to the agnostic thought that there's maybe something beyond us that we don't fully understand. Now, many of the uh, the um, the commentators like Bill Maher and so on and so forth who uh, who see their stance against religion, uh, their arguments are actually very superficial because there are actually two components here. Religion is the most superficial, the most immediate component to uh, this world beyond us, the reality beyond us, uh, and it's basically the practices, it's how a person practices what they believe. So religion is simply a practice of what you believe. The actual belief itself, the, the, the constructive belief, is known as theology. It's the study of God, and it could be any God, and even a, 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 in, including no God. So uh, a study of atheism is actually a, the, uh, is a theology because uh, it's a study of no God. But what will happen, to give an example of how this is sort of superficial here. Bill Maher's arguments on uh, God and how religion people, religious people are so stupid, talking about how, in particular, some of the Christians are so stupid, uh, that they're, you know, not intelligible, that science is what it should be. Well, if that's the case, and he's saying how that, 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 that religion sort of dulls the mind, then you want to have to consider that is he more intelligent than Einstein and, and, and uh, Sir Isaac Newton? Because both Einstein and, and, and Sir Isaac Newton both believed in God. Sir Isaac Newton was an alchemist. He started off as an alchemy, uh, looking for this you know ethereal beyond world, this nature beyond nature. Uh, Einstein had this had, had, was was a religious person. He actually, in addition to being Jew, Jewish. He also uh, was a Catholic for a while. He really, you know, Einstein questioned his religion, correct, correct, questioned what he believed in, asked himself not only what did he believe in, but why he believed in what he believed in. In other words, the the mind of a physicist doesn't just simply accept things as they are. You want to understand the nature of things. And as you go forward and you look at this whole thing, the nature of metaphysics, that's the physics beyond physics, or the physics into what we call the supernatural, uh, then you begin to understand through observation that there are, there is more to this than is previously, uh, than previously thought. In other words, our minds are not the limit. There is further beyond on our mind within quantum mechanics, quantum physics, astrophysics, that gives you a suggestion that there is a beyond the physics, the standard physics, into a metaphysics. Once you understand that, then you can start looking into theology, the second, sort of the second layer of belief. So for your first layer, the most superficial layer, is religion. The second layer is theology. And once you go beyond the first layer of religion and get into the theology, then the universe opens up. It's unbelievable the amount of information. There are entire libraries, global libraries, dedicated to theology alone. So and that, that's a, it, it's impossible in this sort of short, brief period here, in this brief commentary, to go in and say, ah, here's what you should believe in. There's a lot of questions to ask. You've gotten to the point where you say, ah, I'm agnostic. But yeah, I believe there's something more beyond me. I believe from the science, if you look, if you look at the science, if you've seen the science, yeah, there's more beyond me. There is more to life than simply what we physically see. If you've gone to that conclusion, you, as you said, you're an agnostic. The next step is now is to go beyond religion, beyond the practice, and say, what about theology? What do I believe? How do I believe what I believe? And there is a lot of information out there. And the thing is, there's there's information that will leave you, lead you to heaven. And there's there's uh, <laughs> there's theology that will lead you to hell. There was actually people, religions, 
and theology that direct you direct towards hell, that show you how to get to hell, how to open up the gates of hell. Um, and, and the thing is, this is here's the, the sort of a, 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 a a possibility you missed in your sort of your analogy of things uh, when you said, "Well, if I'm a good person and I die, hopefully God, there will be a God, and I'll go to heaven." I'll, you know, that, that's the, the best that, that you go to end. Uh, the best possibility is that you end up going to heaven after you die and you find out there's a God. But what happens is after you die, you find out there's a God, but you don't have enough to go to heaven. You haven't done the right things, or you've done stuff that that you didn't know was evil. And now you end up in hell. Or you see that there is a heaven, but you, again, you haven't done enough to enter heaven, and your life just ends. Well, other people have a life beyond that. How do you feel then? And these are the sort of things that you seem to explore and, and, and understand for yourself is, what are the possibilities beyond life? What are the possibilities after I die? What, what's going to go on afterwards? And I said, this is where theology comes in. Theology attempts to answer these questions. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. And the thing is, you've got to be aware that there is both good and bad. Here. Some of the stuff is going to lead you to a right place, and some of the place, stuff is going to lead you to a wrong place. And this is sort of something you have to sort of figure out. And one of the reasons why I don't talk about my religion, specifically, is that my religion believes in free will, that I cannot convert someone to my religion. Someone has to come here of their own free will, asking questions, once they ask a question, then I can bring them to an answer. Not the answer, but an answer that they can then explore from them, for themselves there on out into wherever it's going to lead them to. Anyways, I hope this uh, was an interesting answer. I don't know how you feel about this answer. Uh, if you want to uh, leave a video comment for me too, that's fine. If you want to just do a regular comment, that's great too. Anyways, nice talking to you. Nice meeting you. Alright, bye-bye.